a good day. I'm John Surreal Egg Dishes, a second year tourism student of St. Michael College of Caraga. So in this video, I will explain the history of hospitality from early ages, middle ages, 16th to 18th century, and 20th century. So let's begin with early ages. It was around 40 BC according to experts when hospitality services for social and religious gatherings were quite common in India. It was about this time that Greeks came up with thermal bots that were designed for exploration and relaxation. These thermal bots are said to be the origin of what is known as modern day spa. Then came the Romans who provided accommodation for travelers on government premises. Her comfort and entertainment were the names of the game. So, when the Romans used to travel, they saw pressure leading to the development of the early inns. So next is the Middle Ages. This was one of the most interesting parts of the evolution of the hospitality industry. This was the era that started with English travel and excursions when they built inns as their private residences. The nobility used to stay in the monasteries. So in 1282, in Florence, Italy, the great innkeepers integrated an association with the aim of turning hospitality into a business in its own right. They had to garner a permit to import and sell wine, which later led to the spread of hospitality elsewhere. The portions along the caravan road developed inns and post houses. So, these were used to provide accommodations and nourishment to both soldiers and carters. Next is the 16th to 18th century. It was a period of the 16th century when the demand of the inns and taverns increased multiple folds. The first hospitality establishment as a hotel was built around this time. It was named Hotel de Henry or Hotel de Saint, and it was built around 1788. Names have changed over the years. However, the first hotel tag goes to Kushu Nishiyama Hotel in Japan, which is said to be over 1,300 years old. The hotel is still accepting guests and is run by the same family for several generations. Like England and New York made turbans, Pennsylvania made inns and the southern colonies formed ordinaries. These hotels created the trend and the world followed the model and started creating eateries and places to rest and sleep. So last is the 20th century. Innovations in transportation systems enabled more and more people to travel. Some people saw the opportunity and jumped into the hotel business. That is why in the early to mid 20th century, a lot of giant hotel chains started doing their business. Cars became extra popular too in the mid 20th century. Intercity traveling became more convenient because of the well-connected network of roads. The hospitality industry has some prominent time periods in which it has taken a new challenge every time to serve the nations and the global travel community. We all love to travel around the world. Our world has seen places in abundance. However, would it not have been difficult to travel if there were no places to stay or nothing to eat? Indeed, the hospitality industry has been the unifying force making a world a global village. It is this industry that keeps on inspiring us to travel more and unite with different cultures. So keep on traveling guys, as we are all humans from the heart and the soul. So again, I'm Joanne Sayerl A. Wishes, a second year tourism student of St. Michael College of Peruga. Thank you for listening and God bless.